what's going on to you leos let's get into it how y'all doing hope y'all are having a great day by the way all right so so let's shuffle things up one more time So for you, Leos, you have the Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, the Magician, Seven of Cups, Three of Pentacles, King of Swords, the World, Five of Swords, Two of Cups, Three of Wands. So what I'm seeing here for you, what I'm seeing here for you, Leos, is the Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Hermit. That's interesting. Some of you Leos may have found someone already or may be speaking to someone in the beginning stages. And it's the whole precedent or the, the whole um, point of this reading, what I'm getting, is you may want to try your hand with this person, get to know them on that level. So I'm seeing a trend that a lot of you Leos are actually starting to date and get to know people. So a lot of you Leos are starting to get coupled up, um, which is great, you know, because like I said before, not every tarot reading that I'm going to do is going to be in the negative and bad and doom and gloom. I, I, you know, the nine of pentacles and the ace of uh, cups and the, and the magician, the ace of cups and the magician represents someone who's making it a point to try to reach out to you and let you know that they're into you. So it's most definitely someone that is going to be coming in if they haven't already. So maybe even someone that you may have even done the approaching to. But point is, they like you and they're going to tell you that they like you and they're going to show you that you, that they like you. The Nine of Pentacles represents, and you, you know, you Leos are trying to play it off cool, but a lot of you Leos like this person too, you know. Leo always got to play it off like they cool. You <laughs> you already know Leo's, right? So the seven of cups and the three of pentacles. Yeah, which reminds me too. I don't understand what it is that some of you Leo's was tripping about. My favorite uh, uh, rapper was Nipsey Hussle, who was a Leo. Like I said, yo, I, you know, I don't dislike any zodiac sign. Y'all tripping. But... <laughs> <laughs> the Seven of Cups and the Three of Pentacles represents this being a situation for y'all where the Seven of Cups is you do still have options, but the Three of Pentacles is people are there's some people, there may be some people that, or how do I say this? There may be some people directly that you may call your friends or your family that you can't tell that you're getting yourselves into a relationship or you're getting to know somebody or there, there may be some things that you may have to separate yourself from because there is a level of temptation that's there. Because here you are with somebody, right? The Ace of Cups, the magician that is telling you that they like you sh and they are showing you that they like you. And, and Nine of Pentacles, you like this person back, but at the same time, the Seven of Cups and the Three of Pentacles, you're still tempted. And the reason why there's a level of temptation is because there's either people trying to convince you to get out of that relationship, implying it, right, out of this, this rapport that you're building with somebody, or it means that there's some influences on your social media, or maybe you may still be talking to a couple of people. There's some sort of temptation that's still there that you're going to have to get rid of if you are going to be in this relationship with this person that represents the magician. Because if the relationship is going to work, you can't have, you know, temptation there because there's a chance that you may mess around and cheat, ruin the relationship or the, you know, or the person, the person that you may be getting to know may not like the fact that you're talking to other people and they may start to see you as someone that they may need to look out for. That's a wolf in sheep's clothing because 
they may start to see you, this magician person, right, that likes you so much. If if you don't if you don't get rid of the temptation, they will start to see you as an individual, right? And they start seeing you flirting. They may start to see you as an individual who is easily tempted, especially especially when they start to notice that there's something wrong because there's still the level of temptation there. So get rid of any one of the people that you that are is tempting, or like I said before. You can play the field and let everybody know what the situation is and see who steps up first. The king of swords in the world now represents. So now. You Leo's right. So now you Leo's are essentially activated. And what I mean when I say activated is you're getting to know these people. Right. The five of swords represents, though, that. The Five of Swords represents that this person may end up calling it off if you don't get rid of these people, these temptations, um, because um, they may see you as a person that's not necessarily really ready to be in a relationship. But some of you, Leos, this could be a person who is just playing games. So you may want to watch out for that as well. Now, I'm not trying to be on some doom and gloom type stuff, but I'm trying to look out for my lions so that y'all don't have to deal with that nonsense. Y'all can, like I said before, y'all can be prepared for wh whichever one. If the person is serious, you can be prepared to hang out with them. If the person is not serious, then you, then you can you can be prepared to stay away from them and know that 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 there's closure there because these people was playing games. And, and trying to waste time. So some of you Leos may encounter this person was just wasting your time. Now that you're trying to get to know them, now all of a sudden they don't want to hang out with you now. But some of you Leos, this person may end up telling you no because they may see you as a person that may not really want to be in a relationship. And they don't want to invade in your space. They don't want to invade in your life. They want to be a priority. Just know two different scenarios. If you're finding value within this reading, then it means it's time for you to come get a personal reading from me. There's a link in the comment section below in the pinned comment called the link tree. In the link tree, you will find private tarot readings, um, my email address, just in case if you don't want to go to the website, which is listed as private tarot, tarot readings and get a personal reading from me. You can always contact me through my email, which is the Yahoo link. There's a link to clothing right at the Teespring store. The Teespring store actually got cheaper because I said it that way. I didn't want to price gouge y'all or anyone. Um, and also you can find my Instagram page as well, right? The link to my Instagram page is there, right? You can all, also give me a follow if you'd like to support me that way. Also, too, the links to the link to my books, my Amazon books are all there as well. So the two of cups, thank you. The two of cups and the three of wands represents. Now, for you, Leos, you may have to let this person know that you're not seeing anybody and you may have to show them and let them know that you are ready to be in a relationship just in general. Otherwise, I'm letting you Leos know this person may end up respecting your space and going about their business and continuing to hang out with other people or try to date to see who to see if they can get somebody. So just know that. Just pay attention to that. OK, because they're not trying to invade. They understand that you lions. They understand that you Leo lions, you need your personal space and they have respect for you. So they're not trying to invade. Now, for some of you. The ones that was wasting your time in playing games. Don't worry about it, because at the end of the day, like I said, you'll be able to walk away with the least amount of damage as possible because you understand that you've got closure. These people was wasting your time. Therefore, no need in continuing to waste your own time by trying to find closure. You already have it. So let's clarify the five of swords. 
And a lot of you Leos, I'm sure, already got somebody. Because the last couple of readings I've read are you um, Leos getting with someone or finding someone that you can talk to. So the Five of Swords, to clarify the Five of Swords, we have the Devil, the Queen of Wands, King of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune. Again, the Devil and the Queen of Wands represents, they see you as, a, like I said, they see you as a person that may, for some of you, you Leos, they see you as a person that has been hurt. They don't want to hurt you. They don't want to end up creating that kind of mischief when the two of you are in a relationship. But uh, like I said before, right now, they just don't necessarily, they're, they're just not necessarily sure if you, Leos, really want a relationship. Now, the King of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune represents the best way for you to get out of this is for you to ultimately let them know and show them that you really do want to be in a relationship just in general. And that you're ready to step it up. If not, then just know that they're going to respect your space. They're going to respect your time. And they're going to go on about your business. So whether you get yourselves in a relationship or not, it really is up to you. Comment on the video. Like the video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Share the video. I'm trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 10,000 subscribers by the end of June um, of this year. As of right now, we have 4,218 subscribers. Smash that subscribe button. Smash that like button. Hit the notification bell and set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop videos like this.